아마 시청자들에게 재밌는 경기가 되지 않았나. 很爽吧，因为杀了非常多的人，然后也。It's a lot of fun when you're winning. Morning's now in trouble. He's going to get picked up. This was a quick one, that's for sure. Team Solo Midfans, you have yourself a North American team into the quarterfinals. Welcome to day four of the 2014 World Championship. We're coming to you live with all of the action out of Taipei as teams will continue to battle it out in our final day of this first group stage. Looking to lock in those seeds for the quarterfinals. That's Team Solo Mid a few moments ago arriving to the venue, looking to kick things off against the Starhorn Royal Club, who they themselves were getting ready in their practice room. Getting ready for their matchup. Here we do have Brandon Beck, also known as Rise, sitting along with a few other rioters in house, enjoying the show. Definitely going to be having some fun with us here today. My name is Trevor Quickshot Henry, and filling out our special world analyst desk are, of course, Evil Geniuses Mitch Crepo Forspools. From Team Dignitas, we have Alberto Crumbs Renjifo. On game netcaster, Christopher Monte Cristo Michaels. And finally, from the North American LCS, is of course David Freak Turley. Thank you guys for joining us once more. Uh, as we mentioned, today is the last day of that first group stage, and it means teams are scrambling to secure their spot in the quarterfinals. Before we get to that, though, we need to figure out who that final team from Group A is going to be. AHQ still technically have that chance. They can tie with Edward Gaming. Edward Gaming, the strong favorites, though. And, of course, they have the chance to tie with Samsung White. What do we think of uh, who's going to be that second squad and AHQ? How far off is their chances? I uh, think it's pretty... Sorry, you want to go <laughs> <or> me? <laughs> Extremely far, but yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's as far specifically because they have to beat them twice. Now, the first game wasn't all that close. AHQ seems to be running very risky compositions to try to pull out those upset wins. But because you have to win and then win the tiebreaker at the end of the day, I think it's very unlikely. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult one. We'll see how that plays out. Edward Gaming themselves, they're going to be looking to take on Samsung White at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. If they can win that game, it will be a tiebreaker for the first seed. But that's a difficult battle in itself. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's really going to happen. White is just shown to be just a level ahead. And I think the first match was arguably close, but I think that was White taking the foot off the pedal once they've already won that game. And we'll have to see uh, how that turns out. Over on the other side, Group B, of course, Team Solo Mid, they will be playing up against Starhorn Royal Club for that first place. See, then, of course, they do need to lock in some other games later in the day. But the difficulty is, whoever places first plays second from Group A, whoever places second potentially facing off against Samsung White. So we could see our first quarterfinal matches. I think the most important thing to take away from Group B is the fact that everybody's really fighting for that number one seed because they really want to dodge Samsung White in the quarterfinal. I mean, either you place first in Group B or you go home. 
That's exactly. pretty much what it's yeah. about. <laughs> very yeah. big. I mean, at least getting top eight, though, is still like, I went top eight at Worlds. Like, at the very least, you got some bragging rights, right? And you could be like, oh, I lost to the eventual champions. Like, whatever. Yeah, you know. But yes, as far as running deep in the tournament. <laughs> I mean, you got to put your standards a little higher. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, for, I appreciate it. Mine are only so high. Sometimes I like to wear the rose-colored glasses, too. I mean, I wore them for an entire year coaching CLG. And we can say, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> making quarterfinals is so great for a Western team. Maybe they could make the finals, but... At the end of the day, we take them off and uh, they're going to get crushed. Well, we will have wow. to see. You yeah. never know what happens when we get there, but we've got to get there first. Uh, we have brought in a few visual aids to help add to the discussions. Thank you guys at home for sharing your hashtag World's Big Plays with us. Our very first one comes from Samsung White, in fact, against Dark Passage. And it's MKB0517. Dude, you shouldn't be posting your Twitter, your password on Twitter. He says, <laughs> Mata is a god. That shield to save Dandy was fantastic. Here's your third big play. Oh, going right in. Here. Crystal going to come around the side. Paul actually flat the back. Wall. Dandy is going to fall. Oh, that's a shield. The shield. Oh. Oh. Dude, well. Dandy just survived. The shield come in from Mata there. As the kick came in from Crystal. Beautiful. Biggest thing right there. She flashed to get the shield onto her, and then as soon as they're trying to collapse with the monsoon on top of it and the tornado, just in case they crept up, no chance. Not I, to, yeah, no, go ahead. Oh, sorry, not to mention that the. <laughs> sorry, I keep interrupting you. Uh, I just get so excited. No, man. I do too. <laughs> yeah, I think the what we didn't see there was the Kha'Zix reset afterwards once the kill came in. That combined with the exhaust on Lee Sin prevented the uh, follow up kill on the Kha'Zix. I did have to check the misplay. He QR Q immediately, and he got no knockups from the Howling Gale. Come on, Mata, where's the Jana mechanic? <laughs> right, let's move this one along. The excitement is real on the desk. Our next big play comes from SK versus Royal Club from at King Nose Hair. He tweets that Janna ultimate to stop Lee Sin Q from making contact with Oriana was amazing. Zero is a beast. Let's roll your number two. Coming in from the back horns at less than half HP. Svenskun's gonna land the Q, follow through. There's nice the ultimate coming two. out. Zero gonna knock them straight back out. Zero is such a beast. He comes in to save Court there for the kill, and then he's able to reset under the turret. Yeah, this is this is pretty much why Johnny has seen such a resurgence. He's very good. Um, just he's a passive laner that does well in every lane, can run exhaust against all these assassins, and all these assassins have type of gap closers that Janet will just nullify and just mess with them, and that's why, yeah, plays like this is, is basically, yeah, why you play Janna. Very well played indeed. Let's get on to the third one. Finally, from Samsung White versus AHQ, from at Aaron411, it's all the numbers today, that 3v2 turnaround double was imp impeccable. Here's your biggest of the big plays. He's gonna push it out there. Oh! oh. oh. Coming in towards BT, they've pulled him into tower range. Oh, they're going to finish him off. One more auto attack when they've done it. There is him going aggressive. He gets the kill on BT. Can he take on it? Oh, oh my! He and the lantern! Imp is such a bold AD carry. He flashes over to get the kill and finishes off the second one, relying on Mata for the escape here. So confident. Yeah, you can see why he's so impeccable. He punishes every misplay. <laughs> All right, actual commentary on the play. I think it would have been better if they actually went for 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 Mata instead. Just try to kill the support because mm. he'll end up saving every time he plays play the trash lane. Just kill trash first because else your ADK will just get saved. Well, the imp puns keep on rolling. Anyways, be on the lookout for more of those world class caliber highlights. Send them to us at LOL Esports on Twitter. Use the hashtag World's Big Plays. All right, starting off our action today, we have got the Starhorn Real Club taking on North America's Team Solo Mid. That will be followed by AHQ Esports Club. And and they will face off against the international wildcard squad Dark Passage. They must win if they want to keep any quarterfinal hopes alive. We will conclude the day with Edward Gaming versus Samsung White. And in the case of any tiebreakers, those will take place immediately following the final game of the day. As always, you can refer back to the schedule on lolesports.com, as well as predict the winners right along with our panel. Just select Schedule and start casting your votes. Click on those thumbs up. There you can catch any of the action out of Taipei with our spoiler-free VODs. Don't let sleep <laughs> keep you from enjoying a single second of our world coverage. Once you're done with all of that, head over to Twitter, share your thoughts on Twitter or with our question of the day. And we want you to take a moment to look back and answer what has been your favorite moment from week one of the World Championship and why? Once again, send your answers to us at LOL Esports along with the hashtag Worlds for this one. We'll highlight the best responses later on in the broadcast. Right, this week we've seen 45 unique champions played thus far. And I want to put a question to the desk. Who would make up 
your MVP team composition from the champions we have seen in Taipei and why? Freak, I'll start with you in the top lane. Yeah. Which champion stands out? Who would it be? I think to me it's got to be Alistair. This is still 4.14, so you can still headbutt auto attack, right? The Sheen first build. Just rewatch SK vs. TPA. Look at how Freddy carried that game like by himself, and it's like, yes, it's Alistair. Oh, fair enough. We've got a jungler on the panel, so if we go down team comp, who was your jungler and why? I'm going to have to pick Lee Sin. He has been picked in 12 out of 18 games so far, and he's been very impeccable. For the players that pick him, he's almost like the playmaker that these teams need to solidify them. And with a Yasuo comp that we're seeing pretty much left, right, and center, he's really the best jungler right now. Yeah, definitely doing well. 6-6 six and six record in those 12 games, actually. Yeah. Alright, mid-game champion, who's it going to be? Monty. Uh, I think that you have to go with Yasuo here. Because of his synergy, if we talk about the, the powerful picks in the meta right now, like Freak mentioned, Alistair. And Alistair's also important because he's a flex pick for support, another good support pick. So when you have all these knockups, when you have Lee Sin, you have just incredible kill pressure with Yasuo. Not only that, he's a mid laner that can engage on your back line immediately, so he can make plays, he can split push, he can stop siege, he can siege with his wind wall. He's a champion that can really do everything in the current meta. And of course, I think, Kripa, you know what I'm going to ask you. Yeah, bot lane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I may not be the best bot lane player in the world, but uh, we've seen clearly that Tristana has made not even a resurgence, just a constant appearance uh, in, in the bot lane. And then, yeah, we can't not talk about Janna. Janna's been doing really well. And uh, ironically, that lane actually does well together as well. So, yeah, Janna Tristana is one of the better picks here for, for everything. And if you guys are picking Al Alistair Yasuo, then why not run out the composition with five knockups and then just let's see who can set up the Yasuo best? Yeah, which is that Crumbs is forgettable. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Starhorn Rail right. Club have actually run this exact bottom lane twice and won with it, interestingly. Yeah, not to mention that when we kind of combine all our champions here, it's nearly what TSM ran against SK. Yeah, definitely a very good comp. You can actually grab our Taipei group stage MVP team comp in the store now. The MVP comp includes skins used by your favorite world's pros to bundle up and start practicing your own hashtag big plays with this incredible knock-up Yasuo team composition. Yep. It works out really nicely. All right, guys, we are going to take a quick break while Team Solo Mid and Starhorn Roll Club load onto the stage for the very first game of the day. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>